Hey guys. So today's video is not gonna be beauty related at all. I just haven't done a good rant in a long time, so I figured why not just do one today. And before any of you chismosas go talking shit thinking it's about that person, it's actually not. It's just about the human race in general because there are things that people do that I just don't under fucking stand. And I want to ask you guys, maybe you guys have some answers for me, maybe you can educate me on why people do what they do. But these are the things that people do that honestly annoy the fuck out of me. Number one is definitely people parking at gas pumps when they have no intention of pumping gas. This may seem very, very stupid and something that I probably should not be angry about, but on more than one occasion, I've been stuck behind somebody who does just that when they have no intention of pumping gas when I'm almost out of gas and there are lines at every pump. It annoys the fuck shit out of me. Especially when there are like three or four parking spots in front of the store open. Like why the fuck are you parking at the gas pump when you are not going to use the gas pump? Contrary to what you people seem to believe, the gas pumps are not extra parking spots for when the parking lot is full, which more than half the time it's fucking not. The gas pumps are for people to pull into to fill up their car when they're low on gas. I didn't know if you guys knew that, so I figured I'd go ahead and just educate you on what the fuck the gas pumps are there for. Because clearly you must have forgotten. And this does not include the people who start their gas pumping into their car, run into the store and grab what they need and come back out. That's something completely different. That's fine. Number one, it's fucking inconsiderate. Number two, it's fucking annoying. And I fucking hate people who do that. Especially in more crowded cities like back home in South Florida. Holy shit, you would not believe how crowded those gas stations get at any point in time. Like normally you should expect to wait at least maybe like five minutes at Florida gas stations, at least in South Florida, because there are tons of people there all the time that need to get gas. So naturally lines start forming, people get agitated, like that's natural. However, the situation changes when I have to sit there and wait for somebody, the fucking lone ass dingus to go in the fucking store and grab his lottery, his fucking Cheetos, his fucking pack of Marlboros. I don't give a fuck. You need to move your car and get the fuck out of the way so I can get my gas and go and everyone else can do the same thing. Number two has to with those stupid little fucking chips in the cards now. Who thought this was a good idea? I really want to know because honestly it's fucking terrible because no one even uses the goddamn chip anymore. At least not anywhere around here. Even when I go back home to Florida I never have to use my chip ever. All the cashiers say is oh no go ahead and swipe. Like I don't get why we use it. If we're gonna use the chips let's all get on the same page and just fucking use the chips because I think America as a whole the entire population needs to get on the same page so we're all not looking like dumb shits sitting in the cashier line waiting to see what you need to do whether you need to swipe or put the chip in because fucking I am tired of looking dumb as shit. I fucking hate people who are rude as fuck and mean to cashiers for no fucking reason. It's not the fucking employee's fault you're having a shit day. It's also not the employee's fault that you don't like the store you're shopping at, but you're still shopping there. It's also not the employee's fault that the store you're shopping at is run poorly. That's on the managers in charge. I hate the people who complain about certain stores, but they keep going there and keep shopping there and treat the employees like shit. Like, you know you don't fucking like that store, so why bring everyone's day down by going there with a shit attitude? Avoid the fucking store. And if it's the general population you don't want to be around, then go fucking shopping on Amazon. They have groceries there too, bitch. Like, get the fuck over it. The one thing that burns my lady balls more than anything else is when people are rude as fuck to new employees. These poor people are sitting there trying to learn while trying to also do their job and get you guys out of there in a fast pace. And more than half the time they're also accompanied by a veteran employee or a senior employee. But even still the process is going to be slow because they're learning. They're learning how to make this quicker next time you come in. They're also fucking human beings. Mistakes are going to happen but they're also learning from those mistakes so the next time you come in your shopping experience and cashing out experience is going to be top notch. If you have an issue with say stores like Walmart who never have actual lanes open when they should be, instead of yelling at the cashier who is currently trying to help you by getting you the fuck out of the store. I'm pretty sure most if not all stores have little recommendation cards or comment cards that you can write on about your experience at that store. Fill one of them bitches out and go find a manager and explain to them calmly why you had a bad experience and more than half the time because you took the time to tell them they'll try to fix things. They'll also mostly try to give you coupons for your next visit. You want to know what else is not the cashier's fault? The fact that your card is declined for insufficient funds. Granted, sometimes it's a card reader error and it'll tell the cashier it's a card reader error and they'll tell you to swipe your card one more time slower and you'll be out of the store in no time. But more than half of the time when I had problems at Victoria's Secret when I was cashing people out, 
those problems are general and they can be solved like that. However, I'm talking about those of you who have a problem with a cashier telling you that you have insufficient funds in your bank account to cover the purchase. This one's very personal to me because as you guys know, I worked at Victoria's Secret for a good maybe like couple months and the one thing I was continuously yelled at for was the fact that people would get mad at me that their card got declined because of insufficient funds. Listen, it's not my fault you can't budget your finances. This one lady I had to take care of was bragging in line as she's getting ready to swipe her card about using her bill paying money to buy the stuff that she was buying. Her overpriced fucking jogging pants and fucking bras. After I was done actually ringing her out completely and I told her to swipe her card, her card was declined for insufficient funds and she proceeded to yell at me like it was my fault she didn't have fucking money. Honey child, it is not my fault that God or whoever was clearly sending you a sign to not spend money. And why would you brag about using money that's for bills on useless overpriced bras and jogging pants? Like, who the fuck does that? If I were you, I would focus more on putting that money towards bills. Otherwise, you're gonna have a Black Friday part two and I'm not talking about shopping. The next one kills me because so many people on my friends list on Facebook still had the same problem. Why do adults still use the wrong forms of certain words? There, 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 your and your, then and then, here and here, two, two and two. I find them very, very easy to differentiate between, so I don't understand why there's confusion. It's like, how the fuck did you graduate high school and get into college? How did you get out of middle school? How did you get out of elementary school? I don't get it. I don't understand why people do this still. I don't get it. If there's one thing Billy Madison taught all of us is that it's never too late to start learning again. So if I were all of you, I would pull a Billy Madison and go back to grade school or at least open up the books your kids bring home from school and educate yourself just a little bit more. The last one came to me actually last night because I was on Facebook and noticed not one, not two, but three different instances of the same exact thing. Why is it that people get mad at the other girl or the other boy when infidelity becomes a problem in your relationship? Yes, the other person could have very well initiated the conversation and initiated the affair, but your bae took the fucking bait and started a relationship with that person on the side outside of your relationship. However, all these people want to be mad as fuck about the other person and then go back to the dumbass who said yes to them in the first place. Like their busted ass isn't going to do the same damn thing over and over again because now they know they can because now they know you're going to forgive them no matter what. There is not one person on this earth who does shit like that that is worth your time. The best thing for you to do is to just do what Beyonce did. I mean, when in doubt, always be Beyonce. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have anything like this that you want to talk about down below, of course, leave those all down below. I love reading them. Maybe I'm wrong with some of them, but I just, they confuse the shit out of me. I don't understand why these are such a big issue with people. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. But I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so, so much. Bye.